Good morning and welcome to my world in one take. This is Michael Blisman from Hughes Solutions. Uh, what you need to know today, rather than focusing on the news stories, I think what I'm going to talk about is some, something about how our minds work and how our memories work. A lot of people think that we are, when we remember something, it's a recorded, like on a medium, like a piece of paper or an audio tape or something like that, that never changes. Well, that's not really the way it works. It's more like when you recall a memory, it's more like a web page that gets updated slightly every time that you view it. And a hyperlink gets added to that web page that references your current experiences that are triggering the memory. So it's like every event that pulls up and you, like you hear your favorite song and it triggers a memory from another time you listen to that favorite song. Well now, the memory that triggered that is also part of your original memory as well. It, it's kind of a weird thing how it works, but it, it's embarrassing if you have an actual video camera or something or an audio of a conversation that you recall and the factual representation differs from what you remembered it. But it's also good, like people who are going to therapy, for instance, a good therapist uh, will call up memories and kind of attach new meanings to those memories. And that's why it's helpful for people, because you get to alter those memories. They're not fixed. So you get to alter the meaning of them and how, and how, you're, uh, how you're responding to them. Anyways, I just thought that was an important concept to talk about. A lot of people think uh, it, it works differently than it actually does. All right, moving on to the leadership nugget. Here's your MBA leadership coursework in six words. Ready? That which gets rewarded gets done. That's it. Now, on the motivational side of things today, there's always somebody who's better at the thing that you do. Like it could be a better guitar player than you, a better mechanic, a better artist, a better writer, a better you know, whatever it might be. But if you can keep adding a unique skill or another skill to your bag of skills, that unique offering is really where the magic is. Um, for instance, you could add public speaking to a skill set, you could add um, photography, something like that. And this unique interaction of skills that you have, that's your bag of skills, and that makes you by definition unique in the marketplace. So just a thought, um, trying to get those things added that would be helpful and think about that like what do you enjoy doing and keep adding something to the unique offering that you have um, it's that's kind of how you become number one in a niche so today i just want to highlight another one of my favorite clients northwest dermacolor in kingwood texas now emily marshall out there um, really good at what she does permanent makeup they enhance what you like medical camouflage changing what you don't and clinical skincare and products. Uh, they have you know, some of the best things for the results that you're looking for. Um, really, if you, the link is down below, but if you go to northwestdermacolor.com, you can look up all their information and you can schedule a free consultation for you know, how to apply your makeup better or whatever else you might do. Uh, real, I get, it's great staff. I mean, like Emily is uh, uh, one of the most caring and uh, energetic people you'll meet and really competent and you're really, well, she's a hoot to talk to, I'll just be honest. Uh, really, really a great person. So definitely reach out. You can also follow her on Facebook and Twitter below. Uh, so as usual, we're just gonna end it the way I always do and by signing off and saying, get off your phone and get to work. Have a great day.